Hi, Pagan Shooter here. Um, thought I would kind of mix it up a little bit and uh, show you a few things that I had found. One of them I actually already had. Um, as far as uh, eating utensils for camping, uh, I've done a few other camping items before and I, I, I saw these and I was like, well, this is kind of an interesting way they they break it down or they break down um i wanted to show you the different the ranging of items that you can actually get at walmart now for camping and some of these items are actually available in some of the larger camping in the large camping stores like uh, uh cabela's or bass pro shop um so these are some of the items that I found, and this is actually a pretty good price range from less than a dollar to about three and a half dollars. Uh, and the, I, the idea behind them is actually kind of interesting. So on the left here, I have from Ozark's Trail, Ozark Trails, uh, this is the three-piece plastic flatware set. Uh, if you want to get a closer look, pretty, pretty decent it's actually it is plastic just like it says um, it's not a cheap plastic it actually has some uh, some heft to it it's kind of thick kind of heavy these were 88 cents uh, they came simply just like this uh, held together with a plastic clip here on the end uh, and bound together with just this tag which binds them together um, so this is made by Ozark Trails. You have a separate knife, fork, and spoon. Pretty decent sized spoon. Uh, looks like a soup spoon. You could use it for coffee stirring, whatever. Um, and it comes with a plastic binding clip. You could easily just disconnect it and pull off the utensils that you want. Or you can just affix them together with a lanyard cord of any kind you want. Um, not bad. I mean, it's 88 cents. So, I mean, you could easily get this and uh, this would be all you need. It's very light. Uh, weighs only a few or less than a few ounces. Um, and you could easily just throw this in your pack or your, your food sack and uh, be on your way. So, not bad. Basic set. Pretty easy. Um, then onward, this is the light my fire spork now this is the plastic spork comes in a bunch of different colors uh we actually have a red and a blue one i bought these for my kids when we were at uh dick's no i'm sorry at bass pro shop when we still lived in phoenix and this was kind of a little treat for them before we went camping now they do make and these i believe were um a dollar 99 a piece they do make a titanium one that is substantially more uh, and the knife is a bit sharper so you have a fork with a knife edge right there and then on the other side you have a spoon um, not a bad utensil um, it's kind of flimsy the plastic is the titanium is actually much more sturdy uh, however the, sh the knife edge is really sharp and for my kids I didn't want to give them something really sharp uh, even with this, I, I could imagine the plastic would tear up the edge of your mouth when you were to use the fork. Um, it, it seems like kind of an illogical place to put it. In fact, I would rather, if they had this, just be a spoon and a fork. Uh, leave the knife off. Um, but I guess out of the interest in keeping, uh, keeping it uh, multi-useful, they wanted to put the knife on it. Once again, the plastic knife... The edge is not really sturdy enough to do anything, and except for maybe cut up your mouth when you eat. Um, when you're eating with this, unfortunately, the drawback is if you've eaten soup, you now have soup inside your hand. Or you, you know, obviously you would have to wipe it off. If you're going back and forth between, you got your fork. If there's something on it, it'll be in your hand, and it's in your hand. With the titanium one, when you're holding it, uh, if you're holding the spoon and the fork is in your hand, you could actually cut your hand on the knife. It's pretty sharp. Um, with the plastic, it's not such a deal. But anyway, that's the Light My Fire. Uh, I believe 
the titanium is three to four dollars. I'm not 100% certain on that. Not really interested in that. That was more for my kids. But I could see if you're just going out camping and it's just you and you want to keep it as light as possible, this is this is pretty darn light. And it would just throw right inside one of your pack pockets and you could honestly forget it's even in there. Uh, let's see. The next item we have um, is the UST or UTS Spork Multi-Tool. Uh, this one costs $2.97. Uh, there's a view of the back of the package uh, with uh, some descriptions of what the items are. Um, this is a spork multi-tool as they call it. Uh, there is a spoon bowl with a fork end, spork obviously. Uh, you have a uh, three position hex wrench. I'm not sure exactly what sizes they are, it doesn't say. Uh, you have the spork, a can opener if you look at the edge there. Now I've got some of the church keys, so I don't really need the can opener part. You've got the bottle opener, which is right there where the ring goes through. And then you have a flathead screwdriver and pry tip right there on the edge. Uh, and this comes with an aluminum carabiner. Uh, and all this for $2.97 at Walmart. Um, not bad. Uh, I could see this as being a little awkward to work with. I guess you could hold it like this. Uh, the can opener isn't really sharp. You've got a lanyard hole right here. So you could actually just hook it to a, a piece of uh, twine or, um, or cordage. And uh, this, was, this isn't much heavier than the uh, plastic. I mean, if you went with the titanium of the Lightweight Fire, then uh, this wouldn't weigh much more. This is stainless steel. Um, and it actually comes with a lifetime limited warranty. So if, you have the, if this thing breaks on you, or if it rusts, or if you have a problem, um, or it bends up when you go to use it, you'll contact them. Maybe they'll cover it. Uh, I'm not really 100% certain of their warranties. So, I mean, it might actually be a pretty decent warranty. But you can also hook it onto your pack with that. So, not a bad deal. Uh, seems to be pretty decent. Uh, my wife, actually, her comment was uh, she liked this one the best. She thought this was neat. Uh, probably just because it looked really neat. And that would be my guess. Uh, and then when she sees this video, she's probably going to punch me. Anyway, so the third one I have is the multi knife and fork and spork set and this is an ozark trails uh this is the multi-purpose knife and spork set and if you look here's the card that came in the package and it describes everything that's in it uh and now the thing that i noticed is this i think this set kind of missed the mark. Uh, because there's two individual items, um, it, I think it could have included more tools. Uh, and that's my impression of this one. Now, this is actually my more preferred set. Uh, you see you have two separate pieces. You have the spork and you have the knife which actually has got a pretty good edge to it as far as a jagged edge so this could actually be used for a steak knife or something to that effect you can use it for a butter knife steak knife it's got a pretty burly edge to it if you look there's that there's the edge right there and then you have the spoon and fork with the spork in and this one, I think, has a better spoon bowl than the multi-tool. Uh, so, and it actually, as far as using it, would, I think, be a lot easier to use. And you got a knife and fork out of it. Now, in the aspect of usability, or uh, 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 options that they included with it, it does come with the aluminum carabiner. Uh, it comes with a what they call a lanyard ring, which is actually a very 
cheaply made uh, key ring type thing, I would probably take that and chuck it. I don't think it's uh, it's worth it. However, the aluminum carabiner would be enough to hold it, or you could even add uh, cordage to these and uh, attach it with the uh, cordage to the carabiner. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so these would fit on the carabiner just like that. Um, however, it's pretty tight on there. So I would say add some cordage and keep them together with a carabiner. And the whole set actually weighs just a little bit more than the uh, multi-tool, which isn't that much. Um, so the part that I'm a little disappointed with on this one, the multi-tool has a bottle opener and a can opener. Now, with this set, you have two bottle openers. One of those, I think, could have been turned into a can opener. And it would have made this tool have the two different tools, to, or this set have two different tools that you could have used instead of the same tool on two different devices or two different pieces. You also have two flathead screwdrivers at the end. One of them could have been something else, I believe. And then, of course, with the hex driver built into the center, they're both equipped with six, eight, and ten millimeter hex drivers. You could have uh, had multiple sizes. So I think they missed a chance to have a better tool here than they did. Uh, this one was um, three dollars and forty-two cents for just under three fifty. You got the multiple uh, device pieces. So out of this whole set, I think the one I have the least problems with are the eighty-eight cent flatware set and the multi-purpose knife and spork set. Um, I don't really have a problem with this one. I think this is actually a neat little tool. However, I, th I do like the fact that these came with knives. Uh, and I do like the fact that they separate the pieces. You're able to use them separate. The knife is good for scooping onto the... Because, let's be honest, that's not going to fork anything. Um, you're going to be scooping it into the spoon and eating it like that. Um, with this one, you're stuck with either using your camping knife or using your finger to push on. Cutting it, you're going to be using your camping knife. So you're going to be dirtying your camping knife with your food. And if you've been using it to process wood or anything else, well, <laughs> you're going to be eating whatever you've been processing. Uh, with this one, I, I'm not a fan of the design. I think if you're going to provide a spoon fork design like this, you're better off leaving the knife part out because this part's going into a really soft, easy to cut area in your mouth and you can cut yourself real easy. With this set, they're just inexpensive and they're very, uh, they're, they're fragile. They're going to break. They're plastic. However, I think they're strong enough to handle most things that you're going to be eating in a campsite. The only concern I would have is in a, a pack with other things that might be harder you can end up breaking these. But it would be good to carry something like this and possibly like this because this is going to be more of a comfortable thing to eat with. This is going to be more of a backup, hey, I've got another set, are you hungry, you want to join me type thing. Uh, so what camping equipment do you have? I mean, would you consider any of these three uh, viable camping eating utensils? Uh, go ahead and uh, leave me your comments. Give me your uh, give me any information you have on camping equipment as far as eating utensils uh, And what you think have you tried any of these? Uh, go ahead and like subscribe share and uh, Till next time. This is Peg and Shooter